Hey, how you doing uh, today? We'd like to give you a wrap up of the 2023 uh, North Carolina Billfish Series. Uh, this is Randy Gregory George and George Lott. Lott. And uh, man, we had an exciting year this year. We had 65 boats participating in the series in the seven tournaments. Uh, the tournaments, we start in Hatteras. Uh, we end up at Pirates Cove and uh, we go up and down the coast. And uh, we had some really exciting bill fishing this year and blue marlin fishing was off the chains at the beginning of the year. Um, we had probably some of the uh, just world record fishing really for blue marlin and, and, and our series boats really enjoyed that. And just to give you a quick rundown, we had uh, 65 boats, I said, we had 546 fish entered with a 99% release rate. Uh, that's 201 blue marlins, 23 white marlin, 319 sailfish and three spearfish. So like I said, the beginning of the year, it was all about the blue marlins and and now the last three tournaments we just ended up at pirates cove and we had just some outstanding sailfish uh sail fishing and, and for the last several tournaments and it kind of still is going on and uh but anyway that that's that's kind of how how it went and we had a our, our our series competition which is the best of three tournaments really came down into the last tournament yeah, I think we ended up with what 100 points difference, and and it got to the point where it was mo everybody was more worried about whether or not they were gonna be the top of the the uh, series, or they didn't care about winning the tournament. Their concern was about being top of the series. <laughs> yeah, so we enjoyed the competition, that's for sure. And just to give you a, a kind of a rundown of uh, like our largest fish, um, we had a, a 48. 0.8 pound uh, dolphin off the murmuration. Uh, we had a 80 pound wahoo off the stream weaver, and we had a whopping 130.7 pound yellowfin tuna off the welder's arc. And uh, so that was some pretty good sized meat fish. And then um, all in one tournament, uh, Team Spencer on the Bullwinkle claimed the, the, the first and second place Blue Marlins at the Hatters Village tournament. And that was really that was really just some phenomenal fishing that that uh, that started off the year and and uh, the the eventual winner just lights out fishing that tournament and, it, and everybody was playing catch up because blue marlins are 400 and, and sales and whites are 125 points for our par series. So we also have awards for uh, junior anglers and lady anglers and, and this year our junior angler boy was uh, soaring catch off the simple man with a blue marlin and two sailfish and uh, Rian Moore on the Carter Rican that caught a blue marlin and four sailfish that's our our male and female junior anglers and then our top lady angler was uh, Shelly Smith on the triple S with two blue marlins and their nice beautiful new boat and uh, it was fun to see uh, see those kind of races as well so one of the other things we track is not just the series competition which is the best out of out of uh, best three tournaments out of your seven tournaments plus 50 points for each tournament you fish. But we also track um, the total points. And this year, um, so without any regard to the number of tournaments you fish, but just who catches the most fish in the tournaments. And uh, we had a really strong race between the Carter Rican, the Safari, and the Welder's Ark. And the Carter Rican came out on top with that. And uh, and those guys, I think, caught over, uh, they caught like 115 billfish this year, and they're fishing not only in the series tournaments, but also they're just regular, um, let's go fishing on the weekend and, and fun fishing. So those guys have had a tremendous year, and so has a safari, and of course, uh, the welder's art. So um, the best out of three tournaments, uh, it's, it's how we crown our winner of course is, so we had our, our, our first place, we, we recognized the charter boats, the guys that, uh, that, are, that are, you know, charter fishing every day. And the winner of that was the fin planter. Um, and then this year we got kind of a special prize for the, you guys that don't know, there was a kind of a newer technology out there uh, called a sonar. And uh, it kind of it widens the, the fishing ability of your boat uh, 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 quite a bit and uh, on 
and and some guys are getting pretty good at that thing so we thought it would be cool this year to recognize and, and sonar boats are probably in our, in our top boats of, uh, of of our race but we had one boat that did really really well um without a sonar this year and it was the widespread and those guys really really did some good fishing uh old school without the help of a sonar so um we're really so that, that's our our, our top non-sonar boat and uh and this year so the the race at the top was between um, Welder's Ark, Bluebill, and Safari, and it literally came down to the last tournament of the year with the Welder's Ark pulling it off by 100 points to repeat as uh, the winners of the NC Billfish Series for 2023, just like they did in 2022. So um, hats off to them and everybody else who won. And uh, man, we got to thank our sponsors, uh, the we, we got some great sponsors. Uh, you can see some of their names behind us here. Um, we really appreciate those guys. They, they're the ones that kind of help us uh, make everything happen and uh, really appreciate them. Uh, and the seven tournaments that are in the series that allow us to come do their weigh-ins and uh, allow us to have our competition through them. And uh, most of all, we got to thank our, our participants. Um, we had 65 this year. That's the most we've ever had. Uh, whether it was NC Billfish Series or, or a while back with the Governor's Cup, we've never had that many boats before. So a record-breaking year, not only with the number of billfish um, or how tight the race was, but also um, with the number of participants, and, and that was made it a pretty cool year. So you got any thoughts, G, on, on the end of the year? Well, you know, I think, again, I go back and I think I watch, watch these points go and guys come in and go say, well, I don't know if I want to get in. Look like I'm already behind. And then the bike was so good this year that, that we had people come on board and, and literally just come up and catch up and pass people. Um, you know, and, and it's exciting to watch, I, like Lizzie. She oh, didn't yeah. care whether she got, <laughs> she, she wanted to beat Shelly and she didn't beat Shelly, but she wanted to beat the, the second place person in Pirates Cove. She did that, you know, it's, it's just the competition that that makes this so enjoyable and and like randy said without our sponsors without the tournament support of the nc, NC billfish series you know that that's what makes it happen um, and we just enjoy being a part of all of it yeah and one, one more thing randy i think you know we, we are the north carolina billfish series and that gives us the opportunities and, and as you can see we're sitting here at the trailer, um, but we're here to be a part of the Virginia Beach tournament. And uh, they wanted us to come in and, and handle their way site, way station for them. And we appreciate them. And uh, it just gives us great pleasure to know that people trust us enough and, and put their trust in what we're going to do for their tournament that, that they contact us and ask us to come be a part of it. So, we appreciate them also, and uh, and again, I thank Point Click Fish for what they do for us. Yeah, man. And one other thing is, you know, we, we uh, what people don't realize is we're we're doing a lot of research. Uh, we've we've worked with the guys at NC State. Uh, we you see it mostly at the Big Rock tournaments, uh, but we've been uh, looking at uh, dolphin links and and billfish information and sharing that stuff with NC State as long as the National Marine Fishery Service to help manage these species that we uh, that we deal with. And um, so that's always satisfying part of, of what we do. And um, we appreciate everybody that, that follows us along on um, not only our website, but Instagram and Facebook. And um, hey, give us a shout. Uh, we'll be back next year, um, stronger, better. And uh, we look forward to it. And, and thanks a bunch to uh, Point Click Fish for uh, following along with us and helping us out when they can. And, and y'all have a, a good winter and we'll, we'll see you next spring.